Pablo Picasso is probably the most important figure of the 20th century, in terms of art, and art movements that occurred over this period. Before the age of 50, the Spanish-born artist had become the most well-known name in modern art, with the most distinct style and eye for artistic creation. There had been no other artists, prior to Picasso, who had such an impact on the art world, or had a mass following of fans and critics alike, as he did. However, as time goes by, there are some interesting things about this artist that you should know. 15 Unique Facts About Picasso 1. Picasso's full name has 23 words. Picasso was baptized Pablo Diego José Francisco de Paula Juan Nepomuceno María de los Remedios Cipriano de la Santa Sima Trinidad Martyr Patricio Clito Ruiz y Picasso. He was named after various saints and relatives. The Picasso is actually from his mother, Maria Picasso y López. His father is named José Ruiz Blasco. 2. Picasso's first word, pencil. It's like Picasso was born an artist, his first word was piz, short of lapis the Spanish word for pencil. His father Ruiz, an artist and art professor, gave him a formal education in art starting from the age of 7. By 13, Ruiz vowed to give up painting as he felt that Pablo had surpassed him. 3. Pablo's first artworks. At the tender young age of 9, Picasso completed his first painting, L. E. Picador, a man riding a horse in a bullfight. His first major painting, an academic work is First Communion, featuring a portrait of his father, mother, and younger sister kneeling before an altar. Picasso was 15 when he finished it. 4. When he was born, the midwife thought he was stillborn. Picasso had such a difficult birth and was such a weak baby that when he was born, the midwife thought that he was stillborn so she left him on a table to attend his mother. It was his uncle, a doctor named Don Salvador, that saved him. 5. Picasso was a terrible student. No doubt about it, Picasso was brilliant, artistically, he was years ahead of his classmates who were all 5 to 6 years older than him. But Picasso chafed at being told what to do and he was often thrown into detention. For being a bad student I was banished to the calaboose, a bare cell with whitewashed walls and a bench to sit on. I liked it there, because I took along a sketch pad and drew incessantly. I could have stayed there forever drawing without stopping. 6. Picasso's first job. Picasso signed his first contract in Paris with art dealer Pierre Menich, who agreed to pay him 150 francs per month about 750 US dollars today. 7. Did Picasso steal the Mona Lisa? Actually no, but in 1911, when the famous painting Mona Lisa of Leonardo da Vinci was stolen from the Louvre, the police took in Picasso's friend, the poet Guillaume Apollinaire. Apollinaire fingered Picasso as a suspect, so the police hauled him in for questioning. Both were later released. 8. Cubism, full of little cubes. In 1909, Picasso and French artist Georges Braque co-founded an art movement known as Cubism. Actually, it was a French art critic Louis Vaux-Sellas who first called it Bizarre Cubiques or Cubism, after noting that Picasso and Braque's paintings are full of little cubes. 9. Picasso claimed Paul Cezanne was my one and only master. In 1943, Pablo Picasso declared to photographer George Brassi that artist Paul Cezanne was my one and only master. Read the whole story. 10. Guernica. When a Nazi officer saw Guernica he asked Picasso was you who did it, and Picasso is said to have responded, no, you did. 11. Picasso is a prolific artist. In all his life Picasso produced about 147,800 pieces, consisting of 13,500 paintings, 100,000 prints and engravings, 300 sculptures and ceramics and 34,000 illustrations, an impressive 78-year career. 12. Picasso's iconic striped shirt is no ordinary garment. 
Picasso's iconic shirt is a Breton striped shirt, which in 1858 became the official uniform for French seamen in Brittany. Picasso was also a leader in fashion, and his Breton striped t-shirt was designed by Coco Chanel. The 21 horizontal stripes represent each of Napoleon's victories. 13. Exhibition at the Louvre Museum Picasso was the first artist to receive a special honor exhibition at the Grand Gallery of the Louvre Museum in Paris in celebration of his 90 years. 14. Picasso was a poet and a playwright. After ending his first marriage in 1935, Picasso dabbled in poetry and later wrote two surrealist plays. Between 1935 and 1959 Picasso wrote over 300 poems that were mostly untitled except for an occasional date and location of where it was written. It was rumored that Picasso predicted he'd be known more for his poetry than his paintings. 15. Where is Picasso buried? Picasso was buried in the grounds of a chateau that he bought on a whim in 1958 in the village of Bovenargues in the south of France. Small groups of visitors are now allowed to view his final resting place, where he has lain since his death aged 91. The raised burial mound is topped with his 1933 sculpture, Femo Vase. Picasso is said to have bought the estate after discovering that it lay on the slopes of Mont Saint-Victoire, which was painted more than 30 times by Paul Cezanne, the Impressionist artist. I have just bought myself Cezanne's mountains, he told his agent. Thank you.